Hey there, this is Albert Alvarez. I am a broker and realtor with the Ally Group Real Estate in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today I'm on location at Crestman West Chapel, a new gated 55 plus community in the wonderful city of Monroe, North Carolina. If you like this video, please hit the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and click on the little bell icon so you'll be notified of future videos. Hey there, today I'll be walking you through the Sydney. It is the largest floor plan offered at Crestwood Wesley Chapel. It's got 2,809 square feet on a single level. Uh, three bedrooms, three and a half baths with a flex room. So let's go ahead and take a look at this wonderful home and see what you think. So this is the Sydney model at Crestwood Wesley Chapel. You can see this, this particular elevation has the stone treatment as well as fiber cement. It is what they call elevation BS as referring to the stone and you can see a nice feature here is it's got a split garage so a single garage as well as a two-car garage uh, forming a courtyard parking it's very nice it's one of the few floor plans that actually offers three-car garage so let's have a look at the house now inside the sydney i'll point out the hallway is about five feet wide maybe a little bit more than that perhaps six feet wide Good, elegant entrance, nice high ceilings. Coulter Homes is renowned for its high ceilings. So here, 10 foot is the minimum throughout the home. And you will see a good use of trays as well in these high ceilings. The wood beams would be additional. I don't believe that those are optional or offered as options in the design room. And you'll see the millwork, of course, in this particular model and many of the models, those are also custom features. And to the left of the entrance in this model is a linen closet here. Uh, I'll point out the height of these doors as well. It's another distinctive feature for Coulter Homes, eight foot doors and portals throughout the home. Linen closet here on my left, uh, half bath here at the entrance, right off the entrance. And then if we sweep in, normally we'd be looking at rooms two and three bedrooms two and three but what Coulter has done is basically combined these rooms into an what they call an in-law suite so you'll see the first room here on the right is a bedroom it's a queen bed there good size of course you can see the ceiling heights reach in closet there a good full bath in front of me of course, beautiful finishes here in this model. There's a linen closet behind this door. And what's interesting is that this, this bedroom has been turned into a living area that supports this in-law suite. So let me get back in this corner. You can take a, a deeper look at the whole layout here. And of course, this was a bedroom but it's been turned into a, a large living area and uh, I want me one of those. <laughs> a nice wet bar area. And you'll see here a door to the garage number three. You will only find that door in the case of an in-law suite. That's the only time that is being offered. So it's very interesting the options that you can find here in the Sydney and in many of the floor plans offered by Coulter. Crestwood was the chapel. Let's head down to the main living area. You see a great big open floor plan. And of course, you'll notice nice high ceiling, gigantic tray. Of course, the millwork in there I'm sure is additional. I will come back to this area and explore it a little bit more, but before we go there, this is normally the flex room. And you can see the size of it. Of course, Coulter has done some changes in here as well. They've turned this into a suite. So it is a bedroom with a full bath right next to it. And again, you can get a sense of the height of these ceilings. They're 10 to 11 feet in some, lo some locations.
good size room. And again, this is the flex room. There's your double door reach in closet. So let's come back out to the great room and you can see how truly large it is. And look at the size of that dining table in back. That is holding 10 chairs to it. So it seats 10 and looks pretty comfortable. Let me swing around this direction and you can see that there's a fireplace, beautiful inline fireplace with floor to ceiling surround. Yes, that would be an upgrade. In fact, um, fireplaces are a structural option in all of these homes. So you don't have to have a fireplace at all. And I'm gonna look at the great room from this direction. Now take a look at that kitchen. Is that not a magnificent kitchen? Breakfast counter on the island, seats four comfortably. Lots of counters. Of course, this is the upgraded kitchen package with the gas cooktop and double oven. And then down this hall, you can see another big counter. This would be considered the butler's pantry. Enormous countertop. And right behind the kitchen is a huge walk-in pantry. Plenty of storage space for your kitchen items, foods and such. And then right behind this is the laundry room and another nice sized room. Your appliances would go here. You have room in the corner for whatever item you want to store as well as a sink and then cabinets above. Of course, very nicely appointed to model standards. And then just off the laundry room, this is the entrance to the two car garage. This looks like a standard depth garage. They have not added any extension to it. And I believe the reason that the staircase is down is because they want to highlight the fact that there is storage above all of this. So that's a very nice feature. I'm not going to go upstairs to explore that. So now let's go back to the great room. And this is from another angle. You can see how deep it is. Great kitchen. Now I'm gonna take a quick look at the outdoor living area. This is the patio. This is the standard depth patio. So it's about, I'm guessing it's 12 feet or so deep. The thing I really love about Coulter Homes patios is that all of them are very have very high ceilings. So this is a, about a 10 foot ceiling. It makes it look gigantic. And you can see from the length of this, this is a big outdoor living area. You might need uh, two sets of furniture to cover it all. And now let's go to the master. It's a king size bed. And of course it's got a tray ceiling. The, uh, the woodwork up there of course is custom. I believe that the windows on either side of the bed here are options. So you can have more privacy if you like by removing those windows or not having the windows. And then let's have a look at the master bath. Lots of space in here, lots of space in here. You do have a huge counter with your double vanities, plenty of cabinets underneath. Really large shower with a bench in it your powder room next to it. And let's see if I can do this closet justice. So it's pretty deep. You do have some wire shelving here. I would imagine the wire shelving is the standard. Of course, a lot of people would build a closet in here. Plenty of space. So what do you think of the Sydney? It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Again, it's the largest floor plan offered here at Crescent Wilson Chapel. 2,809 square feet on a single story, and you can increase it by going up. Again, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, a flex room, three car garage. 
if you'd like to see it, please give me a call as soon as possible. The community is selling very quickly. So as homes are released or lots are released, they go fast. So you have to be on top of this. Please reach out. I'm at 704-957-2232. Again, Albert Alvarez with the Ally Group Real Estate. And we also have information at our website, charlotteactiveadults.com. So please feel free to have a look at that and go to the description below for some more information. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. I, I really appreciate it. I will see you on the next one.